Hey guys, welcome to Lead Code Tuesdays. As I'm preparing for the interviews recently, I decided I will be posting one solution to a lead code problem a week here with the explanation. This will hold me accountable, force me to be consistent, which really is the key, and hopefully it will help you in your journey as well. So let's start. All right, so today we will look at the problem 1907 from database category called count salary categories. This problem is marked as medium, but it's really not that hard as you will see in a few minutes. We are given the table named accounts. Uh, the table has account ID as the primary key and the second column is the income, which contains information about the monthly income for corresponding bank account. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the number of bank accounts for each salary category and we are given three categories. Low salary, which means that income is less than 20,000. Average salary, where income is between 20 and 50,000 inclusive. And high salary, which is income greater than 50,000. The result table must contain all three categories. If there are no accounts in a category, return zero. Return the result table in any order. Now on the surface, it looks very easy. Simple case statement and then aggregation with group by. But the catch here is this statement. The result table must contain all three categories if there are no accounts in a category return zero. If you look at the data here, we don't really have any accounts within average category, meaning between 20 and 50,000. And that's the danger. Simple aggregation would work if you had all three categories in your data. But since we don't have it, aggregation will return only two rows of data, which is obviously not satisfying the requirements here. Let me show you what I mean. I will create a SQL statement that will simply add category column to our accounts table and then aggregate the data. And this is what I was talking about. In the data, there is no average anywhere. And after aggregation, we're only receiving two rows, which is wrong. According to me, there are two efficient ways to do it. But if you have an idea for a different one, please comment below. So first one is common table expression. I love CTEs. Why? Because they are clean and they let you prepare the data for further processing. They're usually very easy to read and pretty efficient. So the first table that I will prepare will be the one that I already had before, which contains all of my columns from accounts table and their categories. And now I will prepare the second table, which will simply contain three categories. And now we can join those two tables. We need to do left join in this case, as we want to make sure that all categories are there. I personally like this solution, but some of you may say it's too many lines of code. Another solution that I will show you is much shorter. The second solution will use union. I will create three different sets of data based on categories and then append them, creating a three row data set, one for each category. In the first one for low salary category, we will only sum rows that have income less than 20,000. In the second, we'll do the same for average salary category, just change the income ranges. And similar logic for the high salary.
and you can see this one is passing as well. I don't like this one as much as we query accounts table three times, but still getting pretty good efficiency here. These are the top two solutions I came up with. They pretty much get you the same score on lead code. I personally like the first one better. As I said, it's easier to follow and it's more logical for me, but I understand everyone is different. Let me know which one you liked. Also, if you have any other idea how to solve this problem, please comment below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you next Tuesday.